Welcome to downtown Plano. Historic Plano, by the way. There's a couple of different sections of Plano, but this area right here, nice, beautiful park. Uh, they got fountains in the background and a little museum off to the side. You can kind of come through here, take a nice stroll, uh, plenty of picnic tables if you want to enjoy lunch, or as we're about to head over to the farmer's market and take a little stroll through there and show you, which is exactly what we want to do today, take you all through Plano and show you why everybody likes Plano. At least, oh, I would say most people like Plano, but it's a really good mix of the old and the new. Uh, this is something where if you like, uh, you want to fix your upper and you want it in a really great established neighborhood, Plano is the place to be. Or you can find some new construction, but they're in little pockets nestled throughout. But we're going to take you through a couple of different neighborhoods, different pockets of Plano, show you what everything's going on here, why it's so popular, why so many people are moving here, and what you could get for your budget around Plano. So let's start out. Let's go, uh, let's go check out the farmer's market. It's pretty cool. Now, and as we head over to the farmer's market, you can see right behind me, if you are a history buff, kind of like myself, then you've got this cool railway museum right here. You can check it out with the old rail car there hanging out. You can go inside, uh, check some things out. And you got a little mix of the old and the new here in the historic downtown Plano area as well. You can see they've built some newer apartments over on this side. But again, I, I love farmer's markets. It's one of my favorite things to do. And this is one of the oldest here in the North Dallas area. But uh, we, let's, let's cross this street safely and we'll meet you on the other side. Oh, now welcome to the Plano Farmer's Market. When you walk in here, I can smell the peaches. I mean, they're amazing. Now, what happens is, is you have a lot of local uh, small business owners, farmers that come in like the, uh, the Bread Street Boys right here. I, the guy just came in and dropped off these fresh loaves of bread here. Uh, so all of these different little areas are, are brought in by different business owners and it, it's amazing. You want some real homegrown produce, bread, uh, baked goods, yogurts, I mean, all that great stuff. You're gonna find it here in the farmer's market. I, I think I'm gonna have to get some of those peaches. I can just smell them, boy, they're amazing. Now here's a good example of a little mix of the new with the old over here in downtown Plano. You can see, well, this, this building's empty, but we just passed the craft, uh, craft Beer House. They have a little sweets shop right there as well. Uh, looks like somebody needs to lease out this spot too. They've got apartments up above and uh, uh, the beer store on the corner as well. So you got those uh, handy at least, uh, which are very important, right? Uh, your liquor and your sweets. But now we're gonna head into the really old historic park that has a lot of the older buildings. We're gonna grab a coffee. You know, I gotta get a nice Americano because it's a little toasty out here today. Now they don't call Plano the city of excellence for nothing. The city just north of Dallas is home to 282,000 residents and is currently the ninth largest city in Texas. So a really cool downtown art district district to a bustling corporate presence, Plano has something for everybody. Plano's historic downtown arts district is a charming and vibrant area that is home to dozens of restaurants, multiple music and event venues, public art throughout, and boutiques and other shops. Located in East Plano, the district is a great place to spend an afternoon or evening exploring. The district's authentic brick-lined streets are lined with a variety of businesses, making it a great place to wonder and discover new things. Whether you're looking for a delicious meal, a fun night out, or a unique shopping experience, you're sure to find it in the historic downtown Plano Arts District. 
In addition to its many businesses, the district is also home to a number of public art installations. The historic downtown Plano Arts District is a great place to experience the best of what Plano has to offer. Whether you're a local or a visitor, be sure to check it out. Old school barbers, uh, again, lawyers, uh, just in case you get cut at the barber shop, right? Then you can go next door. Happy birthday, Plano, celebrating 150 years. Looks like you've got more boutique shops right here. I mean, this is you're probably not gonna spend an entire day unless you're a really slow walker or shopper, but otherwise, this is probably a good half day adventure right here to downtown historic Plano. And you've got a nice little knickknack shop over here, Cocoa Beach, but uh, I can't wait to get this coffee. Let's go check out 1418 Coffee Shop. Now on our way over to 1418 Coffee, which is a historic coffee shop here in downtown Plano, you're gonna notice, first of all, really cool red brick streets, adds a nice touch, right? You kinda got this old school Fillmore pub right here. It looks like it's from England back in the day. Across the way, you've got gelato shop, you've got sushi restaurant, you've got event spaces right there, and various other shops. There's actually another coffee shop right across the street uh, urban crust right here pizza if you want to get grab a slice over here and you have some boutique shops where you can do some nice shopping for some clothes if you want to as well plus you have the directory where it gives you the whole map of everything that you can do here in downtown Plano but this is probably one of the most popular spots you'll see why here in just a second you've got better than sex dessert restaurant now this is a place it's closed right now otherwise we'd take you in there uh, but, well, maybe we, it probably wouldn't be appropriate for video anyways, but a good place to uh, get some desserts. We'll just leave it at that. Then you have toy shops. Uh, you've got more boutique shops. You've got uh, some other businesses. You've got some insurance companies down here, some other real estate companies. And we won't mention those, right? Because you're gonna call us if you plan to make a move here to Dallas. You've got the steak company where they've got the meats sitting right there in the window you can check that out more boutique shops and as usual walk-ins are welcome as you can see this place is pretty popping off now one thing i'd love to do whenever i visit the coffee shops here is always pick up a bag of coffee i got an espresso machine at the house so i love to get different uh, different bags of coffee from different coffee shops that I always visit and they had some dark chocolate peanut butter protein bites here as well. I'm looking forward to trying these out. They're pretty amazing, simple ingredients. I love uh, when you pick up little little uh, homemade goods like this at these stores. That's kind of the charm, right, of coming to these downtown areas. You get a lot of character and uh, you know homemade things like that. So I'll let you know here in a minute if they're any good. I gotta say that coffee uh, 1418 was amazing, but this is something I wanted to show you that you just don't normally see on these vlogs. It's usually uh, all the good stuff, right? But we're on the east side of Plano and you're going to come across a lot of these old strip malls. And when you divide up east versus central and west Plano, there's a, there's a difference. You're gonna be over here on the east side in lower price points, older strip malls, older commercial buildings, and that's what we talk about uh, Plano being a good mix of the old and the new. Over on this side is where you're going to find homes in a much lower price point. You can even find them around $200,000 for three bedroom, two bath houses. Now, based on your taste and your needs, sometimes they'll be move-in ready. Sometimes they're going to need a little bit of work uh, if you want to get in there. But otherwise, this is where a lot of uh, rehabs will happen, remodels over in this area you just got a lot of those old 50s and 60s and 70s ranch style homes the brick homes that were also built in the 80s and the 90s and then you have these strip malls kind of like this where you've got good businesses i mean things are happening over here i mean you've got crazy taco shop you've got a gym you've got flowers i mean edward jones i mean this is where you could come and put all your money away for investment right you've got dance class you've got blue i don't know what that is but you know uh, again you, uh, you got napoli's restaurant italian so as you can see parking lot half full over here so people still use this stuff it's okay you're gonna find probably things on the lower side again 
and that's the big difference between West and East Plano. West Plano is very built up, which you're gonna see later on in this video as we go by West Plano. Now everything over there is practically brand new running off of the tollway. You're also on the tollway side where of course you've gotta to pay to drive up and down the North Dallas North Tollway. And over on this side, you're closer to Hi Highway 75 where that's a free highway. So you can see a drastic you can see a drastic difference between the two areas. But again, we're gonna head over to Plano East High School right now, which is one of the original high schools uh, in the area. And we'll talk a little bit about the schools. We know that's very important for most of you watching these videos. So let's go check that out. As we head over to Plano East High School, I gotta say, by the way, my name is Levi Lassick, and if you're thinking about making a move to the Dallas, Texas area, just feel free to reach out, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We're happy to help you make that smooth move to Dallas. And you know, we work with clients, not just locally, but from all over the world. We've, we, I mean, it's amazing how we get contacted from people out, out of state and out of the country to make their move into Dallas. And so we'd be happy to help you make that smooth move to Dallas and just let us know if we can help you out in any way. And also leave a comment below and let me know where you're watching from. You know, what's, where do you call home right now? Are you local or are you from out of state? Here we are at Plano East, uh, one of the original high schools here in Plano. And you'll notice, you know, when you compare this to probably other schools we've shown you in other vlogs such as Frisco and Prosper, this one looks a little dated and it, it's older. And that's, again, what separates East from West Plano is you just have a lot of the older architecture over on this side, original high school over here, but still it houses a lot of students and it's still ranked very high in academics. So that's very important for a lot of people, especially if they're in the lower price range, then coming over to the east side of Plano allows them to still get access to highly rated schools that they can be a part of and of course that's very important for them and again you know nothing wrong with that at all whatsoever it's just the new the the west side has been developed a lot more and with the toll road that's where you're just gonna find the higher price points but I'll tell you a little bit more about the school district in general so students that live in Plano will primarily be zoned for the Plano Independent School District. This school district consists of over 50,000 students and has an a rating from Niche.com. The district has a wide variety of schools to choose from, including 44 elementary schools, 13 middle schools, six nine through 10th grade high schools, and three senior high schools. This means that there is sure to be a school that is a good fit for every student, no matter what their interests or needs are. Students in Plano Independent School District have more access to their teachers and can get more individualized attention thanks to the district's student to teacher ratio of 15 to one, which is lower than the national average of 17 to one. Plano Independent School District has also been recognized for its high test scores and its students consistently outperform their peers on state and national assessments. For example, the average SAT score in Plano ISD is 1280, which is well above the national average of 1060. The average ACT score is 29, which is also well above the national average of 20. Plano East Senior High serves grades 11 and 12. The school has an enrollment of approximately 3,100 students and it's ranked in the top 5% of public high schools in Texas. Plano East offers a wide range of academic programs, including advanced placement courses, dual credit courses, and honor courses. It also offers a variety of sports, including baseball, basketball, bowling, cross country, football, golf, gymnastics, lacrosse, soccer, softball, swimming, tennis, track and field, volleyball, and wrestling. In addition to athletics, Plano East also has dozens of clubs to choose from, including the AV Club, Band, Computer Science Club, DECA, Fashion Club, Physics Club, and so many more. All right, so now we're in this neighborhood over here uh, on in East Plano. And as I mentioned earlier, you're gonna see a lot of these older ranch style brick homes built in the 70s and the 80s. Now, the one thing that people like a lot about Plano East, uh, well, Plano in general, is all of the massive trees in the neighborhoods. And you'll just see, I mean, a little, we're a little dry on, on trees on this side, but on this side, you will see uh, really nice trees that cover almost the entire homes. And again, these homes that are up for sale right now, move in ready, but at the same time, just depending on your taste, likely probably needing some updates. And, you know, for example, we've got one really for sale right there that's listed at 440,000. So you can get in the mid 400s over here 
uh, in East Plano and uh, get something. Uh, now, the good thing is, is that house does have a pool. So that is very uh, critical here in Dallas, especially during the summer, of course. But you will see now, you see some of these massive trees coming up. And that's what really uh, people love about Plano is these older established neighborhoods. Uh, but at the same time, you know, you're gonna have some work to do on some of these houses. But let's cruise around the neighborhood so you can get a better idea. Now here we are in Lakeside on Preston, one of the nicer neighborhoods here in, I would say we're getting on the border of the west side of Plano. And this is a pretty typical neighborhood you would find around Plano with, I would uh, put this in like the old money, a little bit of the older money. You're gonna find a lot of these homes kind of built in 80s, 90s, early 2000s. Still, again, you're gonna find very mature trees, very established neighborhoods, but you just have some really uh, bigger homes. Now, price ranges in here can be anywhere from 500 up to a million. You can probably see some of the homes off in the distance. You've got the traditional brick with the mixture of the colonial styles in there, and that's what you're gonna find in these neighborhoods, and you're close to uh, a lot of things that are going on. We're right off of Preston Road and Preston Road that splits Plano pretty much down the center uh, and is very well known for its shops, restaurants, bars. Uh, Preston Road is starts down in Dallas in the Highland Park, Oak Lawn area and goes all the way, way through North uh, Dallas into Salina and beyond. So anything around Preston Road is going to be on the upper end and the nicer side. Lakeside on Preston is a community located on the west side of Plano. The community is home to over 1,000 homes and is surrounded by natural beauty, including Lakeside Lake, a 15-acre community park, and tree-lined streets. It's over 400 acres. The price range is from the mid 500s to over 1 million. You have amenities such as the community clubhouse with fitness center, a pool, and a playground. You have the neighborhood swimming pool, a private 15 acre community park, lots of food options, and next to Plano West Senior High. And you'll find stone bridges and tree-lined streets that make your evening walk a lot more enjoyable. And we figured we'd go ahead and stop by Plano West as well so you could see that. And see, it's not that much newer than Plano East, but it, it does have a little bit more of an updated feel. And this is one of the big rivalries here in Plano is Plano West versus Plano East. And this being on the west side, it borders Willow Bend neighborhood, which is probably the considered the nicest neighborhood in Plano. A lot of old homes, but massive homes that we're about to take you through. So you don't want to miss out on that because it's one of my favorite neighborhoods. Massive trees, massive homes. Now, all of the homes are a lot older, but there are some that are getting torn down and then uh, building brand new construction on there. They're absolutely amazing. You don't want to miss that. So we'll give you a little bit more here on Plano West and then let's go check out the Willow Bend neighborhood. So Plano West has approximately 2,640 students. It's an A plus rating from niche.com, considered in the top 2% of high schools in the country. A 17 to one student to teacher ratio and 38% of the staff members at Plano West hold advanced degrees in education. It's a short distance from the Dallas North Tollway and very close proximity to the neighborhoods such as Willow Bend and Castle Mare. Over 4,000 AP exams are administered at Plano West each year, with the average SAT score around 1310 and the average ACT score around 30. Oak Point Park and Nature Preserve is the largest park in Plano, Texas with over 800 acres of land. The park features a 16 acre lake, which is popular for kayaking, paddle boarding, and canoeing. There are also miles of hiking and biking trails, as well as a playground, picnic areas, zip lining, dog parks, and so many more things to do. Now we're in Willow Bend of Plano, Texas, and this is my favorite neighborhood in all of Plano. Now this is what they like to call old money over here. A lot of generational wealth over here, a lot of homes that have been several generations. Uh, you've just got much older homes, massive lots. A lot of the homes are gated, uh, so you need, <laughs> you need to know somebody if you just want to get in. But some of them are just wide open as well. 
Uh, but here you're gonna find acre lots, two acre lots, three acre lots. I mean, they're good size. Now, a lot of these homes, again, on the older side, a lot of people have kept these up to date, but some you will find the ones that do come on the market and they're not that often, then the older homes will still need some updating or they will be very well preserved. And I don't know, I kind of like the older style. Now I do like updates in the house personally, so I like uh, kind of the older look with a little bit of a modern touch, but it can't be modern to where it completely throws off the style of the house. So it really just depends on that. And you'll see as we drive through here, just really beautiful homes, very well-developed trees because they've been here for decades. Uh, just as what you'll miss in the new construction communities where it's usually just uh, baby trees trying to grow everywhere. But otherwise, calm, peaceful, not a lot of traffic here at all whatsoever. And you can build custom in here, but you're gonna have to find a complete teardown or there are a few open lots, but they're a little bit more rare. But if you do find a lot, then you can work with a custom builder and we know some of the best here in Dallas and you can build an amazing uh, modern or modern transitional to fit and style here. So let's cruise around so you can get a closer look. Willow Bend is a community that is located in West Plano, Texas, bordered by Glen Eagles Country Club and features many lakes and ponds, a neighborhood park, jogging and bike paths, and a median home price of 1.3 million. And you can't come to Plano without stopping by the shops of Willow Bend. And this is considered the old school old money shopping center and shopping mall over here in the west side of Plano as well. Of course, we're about to take you over to Legacy West and show you all of that new development. I'm sure you've probably seen a little bit of that before, but this is the OG of shopping here in Plano. This is where a lot of people like to come. Really nice shops. You've got restaurants. Uh, you can even play a little chess over there, hang out on the lawn, listen to the fountains, but you are close to the highway, so you got a little noise there, but you've got this uh, chicken, biscuits, and beer right here. I mean, what better combination could you ask for than that? Actually, we may have to stop in there. Uh, well, we'll make a quick pit stop, but otherwise, we're about to head up to Legacy West where you're gonna see all of the new shopping, everything that's going on there. It's a great way to wrap up this video. And by the way, leave a comment below. Let us know, have you lived in Plano before or do you live here now? Either way, what are your favorite parts? Did we miss anything? What would you like to see on the next video? Let's go to Legacy West. Welcome to Legacy West. Uh, my favorite store, by the way, right? I mean, this has got to be the best store in all of Legacy West, but you have over a hundred shops, restaurants, bars, I mean, clubs, whatever you want right here in Legacy West. I would say this is the, uh, the family adults playground right here. I mean, it's a great, uh, great for during the day to bring the kids. Even in the evenings over here, you've got a lot to do, a lot going on so many options for all your high-end shopping and you know uh, you can hit, hit up the Levi store as well so uh, I mean look at this you got Louis Vuitton over here you got suit supply you got front gate you got lucid Mediterranean over here but where we really want to head to and if you remember we uh, where we featured one of the listings was that tower right off the end of Legacy West right up here that 5.1 million dollar uh, it's, it's no longer available by the way but we're gonna head over to the food hall. I don't think we covered that last time. This is one of my favorite spots where we've got over 50 restaurants in one location. So if you're not a decision maker, the last place you wanna go is Legacy Food Hall because you will never get out of there. But if you are decisive and you got a genre in mind or uh, something that you wanna get in particular, then it's, it's something that has a lot of options. Or if you're with a big group, then that could be a place to go as well because you'll satisfy everybody. So if you're with a group and they just can't decide, that's the best place to take them is to Legacy Food Hall. So we hope you've enjoyed this tour around Plano, Texas. You got to see a little bit of everything. Let us know, by the way, if we missed anything. And uh, if you're trying to make a move to Dallas, you know, feel free to reach out, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We're happy to help you make that smooth move to Dallas. Again, my name is Levi and we hope to show you around town.